Hi folks, welcome back to Selenium Web Driver series. In this video, we will set up the Selenium Web Driver. So let's get started. First, we will go into selenium.dev. It is their official uh, Selenium website. Okay. So go to selenium.dev and then go to downloads. So under downloads, we have Selenium clients and web driver language bindings. Okay, so it supports multiple language. So we know that it supports C sharp, Ruby, Java, Python, JavaScript. Okay, so different languages basically. So since our series is on Java, we will go ahead and then download this Java. Okay, uh, so here you can see the latest version is 4.26, which was released on October 30th. Okay, so click on download. So it get downloaded. You can see it in the downloads file. So here you can see Selenium Java has been uh, downloaded and you just have to go and then track all. So basically you can uh, keep it in whatever file you need it. Okay, if you want, if you're comfortable using this downloads, then fine. Otherwise, if you want to keep it in a different file, you can keep it in that file as well. So the download is completed. So in the previous, uh, you know, video, we actually created a project, right? So here, uh, one another thing, you make sure that module uh, info.java there was a file right so make sure you delete that okay and then let's go ahead and then create package so since there is no default package i will first create a uh, you know java package first so we'll name it as selenium automation okay so finish and then click on this new and then go and create class okay so this is very much important to uh, make sure that you're creating in the previous video we have already created a project so you can refer that so after creating you have to create a package if the default package is not available and then come and then create the java class let's name it as selenium dev1 okay so and then make sure to select public static void main and then finish so now we have created new class so what we will do is let's write chrome driver driver is equal to new chrome driver okay so if you see after we wrote chrome driver there is an error what it says is either you have to create a class or a create record, some different interface, all these uh, error fixing options that it is giving because it doesn't know what we are doing because it doesn't know what is Chrome driver. So now what we have to do is click on this property, go to your project, select your project and then down here there is a properties So click on it and then come to Java build path okay under java build path we have libraries there are multiple options make sure you have selected libraries under libraries we have module path and class path so select class path okay and then add external jars okay and then whatever uh, jars we imported extracted basically select all of them okay select all these jars and then click on okay so now apply and then close so now you see that there is a reference in libraries okay all the jars whatever is required since it is a package so you can see all the jars whatever is required for the selenium is now available to this project okay now let's hover on this okay let's just save so you can see that it is giving another option import chrome driver from org.openqa.selenium.chrome okay so make sure you are importing this package from this org.openqa.selenium.chrome itself okay so once you uh, imported it the error is gone so now we are good to start with the selenium automation 
so this uh, this is the important step make sure you uh, follow it okay so now once you save so now if you uh, you know write driver dot so all the methods will be available if you just you know use the driver dot all the methods whatever is available it will be available for you so in the next upcoming video we will start with the actual coding part so hope you now got to know how you can set up the selenium web driver okay so uh, make sure you download and then keep it ready in the next video we will start with it properly so thank you for watching bye bye